August 15 is a very significant day for Asia. For one, it is the Victory Over Japan Day, the day when Japan officially announced its surrender to the Allies during World War II. But it is also the day when the British Empire officially partitioned and let the Indian Empire go, marking the birth of Pakistan and the independence of India. Is that date a coincidence though? Back in 1929, Jawaharlal Nehru, a principal leader of the Indian nationalist movement, adopted the resolution of Puna Swaraj, which meant full independence. He wanted the 26th of January to be the date for the full independence of India. Following that resolution, India observed its unofficial independence day on the 26th of January from the 1930s onwards. That is, until 1947. The struggle for full independence continued. Finally, the British Parliament gave Lord Louis Mountbatten, the last Viceroy of British India, the mandate to transfer the power to India by the 30th of June 1948. But the Freedom Fighters did not want the delay. So Mountbatten decided to push it earlier, hoping to ease the bloodshed. He landed on the 15th of August 1947. Why that day though? Well, in Mountbatten's own words, he said that, The date I chose came out of the blue. I chose it in reply to a question. I was determined to show I was a master of the whole event. When they asked if we had set a date, I knew it had to be soon. I hadn't worked it out exactly then. I thought it had to be about August or September, and I then went out on the 15th of August. Why? Because it was the second anniversary of Japan's surrender. It was a pity. It seemed that the bloodshed befell them anyway. The botched process of independence and partition witnessed the slaughter of more than a million people and the displacement of around 15 million. And as for Mountbatten, his wife Edwina and Nehru reportedly had an affair. Perhaps this was not that much of a bother for Mountbatten, since Edwina was already known for her affairs, doing very little to hide them from him. He seemed to have accepted it, granting independence not only for India, but also to his wife. You will succeed, said Nehru.